Hey, Tracy from Courtesy Desk here. Before I get started, I wanted to give you one important promise. Uh, for our, anyone who's ever felt intimidated or uncomfortable record shopping, you are not alone. And it is my promise to you to make any experience shopping with me as safe and as welcoming as possible. Uh, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, congratulations. That is a privilege many of us don't know. Uh, and it's, it's an unfortunate one because record shopping should be a really joyful learning experience and to be deprived that is it's disappointing it's something that i know as a record shopper i have faced in my lifetime many a time even still as i age i still get treated like i'm a dummy at certain stores um, so i want everybody to feel welcome and good about shopping with courtesy desk and certainly no question is too small or too silly um, you can't possibly know it all. Music is a bottomless ocean. Your feet will never touch the bottom. So as far as I'm concerned, you possibly, you could never possibly know it all. So uh, I welcome any question and I want you to feel good. And um, that is enough of my speech about feeling safe and welcome, but I think it's a really important message to share nonetheless. Um, for those of you who have been watching The Watcher, um, you might be wondering, why I might be talking about a Netflix show. But yes, it is sort of seasonal, but I have a book about going to shows in Westfield, New Jersey, where the wild gigs were, is a book that is, quote unquote, a trip through America's legendary underground music venues. I have a chapter in this book, and for me, my favorite venue growing up as a kid was in Westfield, New Jersey. It was a house show uh, by someone named John Hiltz. And so I talk a little bit about the experience of seeing shows in Westfield, New Jersey. And for also those of you who don't know, Edward Gorey's inspiration for the Adams Family House was right next door to John Hiltz's in Westfield, New Jersey. So I don't have this book for sale uh, on my website right now, but I will have it at the pop-up. It is my last copy and uh, you know, sort of seasonally appropriate if we're talking about The Watcher, right? So, on to records. Meat Wave, Malign, Hex. Uh, anybody who cares about the John Reese and Rick Froberg style guitar bands, that means Pitchfork, Drive Like Jehu, Hot Snakes, all in that camp of sound, maybe a little bit heavier. This is certainly Meat Wave's heaviest, maybe my favorite record they've done. And it's now in stock and also on John Reese from Rocket from the Crypt and all the other bands I mentioned, his record label, Swami. Uh, Kitchen and the Plastic Spoons, Screams to God. I wrote about them in Turntable Report a couple months ago, finally in stock. Behind me right now, you might be able to hear David, Microwave, Javalosa, Atomic Odyssey. It is a fun, campy, kitschy cocktail record, but mixed with sort of electronic sounds that sound a bit like um, 80s video games or something. So even though it borders on a novelty record, it's actually a really like well-written, smart, fun listen. So if you want to have maybe um, a special cocktail hour um, that's not the same old Exotica record or Stereo Lab record or something, this is a really great way to mix it up. The Jim Nothing record in stock now. Uh, a love letter to classic New Zealand flying nun bands, um, artists like Chris Knox or The Chills, you'll appreciate this record. The new Archers of Love record. Um, I'm so grateful that after 30 years, these guys are still making music together and putting out new music. Um, they were one of my favorite bands throughout the 90s. Um, they're old friends. I'm always happy to support them. And I'm really actually extra grateful that they're not making the same record and that, you know, they're a band that's not trying to repeat icky metal decade after decade. I kind of love that they've grown creatively and taken their music in places that maybe you wouldn't have expected 20 or so years ago. So yes, they are older and wiser. It is a less raucous record, but nonetheless interesting and good. So. Archers of Love, now in stock. The Black Sabbath, I always get the name wrong, Black Sabbath cover band rehearsal 7-inch, which is uh, covers of Black Sabbath songs 
And uh, it's members of Interpol, yeah, yeah, yes. I know there's some other people in there. I'm spacing on who else is in the group. I will have this for sale at the pop-up. It is not on the website. I have just one copy left of Celluloid Lunch. Um, this always sells out super quickly. So unfortunately, I just have one left. Get it while you can. And last but not least, Galaxy 500, Temperatures Rising, an Oral and Visual History by Mike McGonagall. Has all sorts of photos and flyers. And uh, spoiler, spoiler alert, it does not necessarily have a happy ending because being in a band is hard and a bumpy ride. And uh, I love that this gives us a very real experience of what it can be like uh, in an independent band. So there you go. That is everything in a nutshell that I have today. And uh, hopefully for those of you who live in the region, I'll see you on Saturday at the cast from three to five. Thanks. Take care.